2021. You hold up the passport of Argentina. I am Argentinian passport. I born in Argentina and all my family born in Argentina, even my father, my grandfather. Do you hold an, any other nationality? Yeah, originally we are Lebanese, yes. I have the, the second nationality is Lebanese. Do you hold any Gambian passport? No. We will require that you submit to the Secretariat a copy of your passport after, after, after this session. I don't, uh, Madam, my language is not very good. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll slow down. After this session, please submit a copy of your passport to the Secretariat. Uh, yes, I, I bring my copy of the passport and I give it to him, he say he don't need it. You get it to I have it, I have it now. All right, good. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Just hold on, someone will collect it. What did, you, what did you come to do in Gambia when you came 20 years ago? Uh, that time only visit, uh, because I work in Africa, but uh, I start uh, working and uh, 2004, 2000, yes, 2003 or 2004. So you said when you first came 20 years ago? No, no, first I don't have business. I came because I, I was in Africa working. I came and go like visit. Okay. Who were you visiting? Who were you visiting? Were you visiting anyone? With any person? No, no. You were just coming to Gambia? Yeah. Okay, where were you working in Africa? I work many different countries. I... Right. So when you started working in 2003-2004, where did you work? Uh, the, uh, we started the project in Mandinari, the depot. The pro a project, the depot in Mandinari? The depot in Mandinari, yes. Is that the Gam Petroleum Depot? Is that the Gam Petroleum Depot? The, the Gam Petroleum Depot, yes. How did you come to work for the Gam Petroleum Depot? Uh, the, the people that time uh, honored the place, they came to me and asked me to do the depot. To do the? To do the, the job uh, for him. Who were the people? It's uh, Muhammad Bazi and Fadi Maziji. Did and you? Tarek Musa. And? And Tarek Musa. Sorry? Tarek Musa. And Tarek Musa. Did you know them before? No. Somebody told them about uh, my company. We do this kind of uh, job. What was the name of the company? What is the name or what was the name of your company? Capital Gas Company. What was Capital Gas doing at the time? We do a job like that. Was it already working, Capital Steel Gas? Steel structure, pipeline, uh, depot, we are uh, especially for this kind of job. So at this time in 2003, what work was Capital Gas doing? Was Capital Gas doing any work before you were approached by Mr. Bazi, Mr. Mazegi, and Mr. Musa. I don't understand exactly what Capital Gas do before. Yes. Capital Gas, you don't have the CV about my company. No. We do the job from 1971. Here in Gambia? No. Where? 
different countries, in the Gulf, in the Middle East, in Africa, many places. Okay. I just want to understand, at the time you were approached in 2003, were you doing any work, your company, was it doing any work in Gambia? In Gambia? Yes. No. This is first project I start in Gambia, this depot. Okay. Um, you provided some documents. Um, that's a certificate of incorporation, a copy, dated um, 14th November 2007. And you also have uh, certi certi one certificate of business registration dated 25th day of March 2014 and uh, memorandum and articles of association. These are copies of Capital Gas Gambia Limited. Yes, this is a branch here started 2007. You incorporated it here 2007? Yes, th this is the branch in Gambia, yes. Who are the shareholders? My son and me. Your son and yourself? Yes. Is that uh, Fares? Fares is my son. Fares Daniel? Yes. F A R E S. All right, I'm going to give you the documents. And it says Antonio Pedro, that's yourself, 60%, and Fares, 40%. Yes. I'm going to show you these documents. I will require that you provide. Um, the documents for each year from 2007 to 2017. That's your company papers. What I have to do, I know. Just confirm that these are the documents you gave to the investigators. Yes, this is the document I give it to the, to the, to the people here. I okay. give it by, by hand. All right, thank you. Um, can you just put them together with the copy of your passport? Okay. This is my copy of the passport. Yes, yes. put them together and put them to the side. Uh, Mr. I just want you to understand, we, we will require that you provide your company papers for each year that you were in the Gambia from 2007, that your company was operating in the Gambia from 2007 to 2017, together with your annual returns from the Registrar of Companies. Um, they, they will write it for you, a list of what you will be required to provide and submit it to the Secretariat. Do you understand? Do you pay tax? I, I checked this document. Yes, I give it to him. I told you, I give it to him. By hand. But any document we missing, yes. we can bring it because the people work with me now is not here. It's on vacation and they have and they know about document. I don't know too much about document. Anything uh, you need, we have everything. Very well. Hold it, hold it. I think we hear terrible noise, welding or something. Yes. We have to stop it. Otherwise we There's noise outside. Thank you. We will give you a list of the documents we require that you provide. Yes. All right. Where are your offices, Capital Gas? Denton Bridge. Denton Bridge. Yes. How long have you occupied that office? Uh, I don't remember exactly, but when we start the, the mooring system in Mandinari. The? the? The mooring system, the work in the river. The moorings? Yeah. Mooring. Ah, uh, the mooring. Where is the place the vessel stop? Ah, uh, the mooring. From, from that time, we, we use uh, this land. Is it rented? Sorry? Do you own the premises? No. Okay. You're renting it? Uh, the, uh, we, we, we try to, to, to buy it now, because that time there is company before me, they work with us, it's TTS name, he used it, 
and they, uh, because he worked with me, they invite me to use it because we need a place in the river to, to take the equipment to Mandinar. Are you renting it? Uh, no, no, not renting. Who, the, own, who owns the premises? Uh, part of the land, uh, there is somebody came this year and we are discussed to buy it from Sorry? one lady. Can you repeat the answer? Uh, I say part of the land belong to one lady we are discussed with her right now to buy it from her. What is the name of the lady? Uh, I, I don't know. I can bring it for you. Is there a building? Is there, is there a building on the land? The, the building, we make it. But you don't pay rent to anyone? Sorry? You just built it. Who owns the land, the other part of the land? Yeah, the lady, now she want to sell it to us. We discuss with her to, to take it. Sorry, I'm not, I still am not clear on this. Counsel. Mr. Yes. Mr. You have uh, to repeat Mr. the Mr. Daniel. Mr. This land you are occupying, who owns it? The, that time there is company, Senegalese, named TTS, worked with, with us in Mandinari. He was using the land. Okay. When we asked him, we need some place in the river or in the sea, to start the job in the river. They say, come use my land. I don't know that time is uh, belong to him or not. He was there, his equipment is there. We come sit down with him and we do the job and we stay. Last year, somebody came and they said, uh, this piece is for me. We say, okay, this for you, no problem. She says she wanna sell it. Now we are discussing with her to, to buy it. I see. Now do you know the person who wants to sell the land? To yeah, you? yeah, but I don't know the name. I, uh, I can bring but you... But you will tell us later. I can bring you the name. You can I, bring us the name? Yes. Very well, thank she, you. She's lady, I, I, but I forgot the name. Thank you. Yes, that's all right, thank you. We understand. However, the investigators will go there to find out with the help of the land's office. Noted, Mr. Chairman. You said the Senegalese company is called what? TTS. L-A-S. T-T-S. T-T-S. Yes. Who owns T-T-S? Donna Drabo. Um, can you give him this piece of paper so he can write it down? What work were they doing, this Senegalese company? This Senegalese, uh, Senegalese company, she used the land before I came. Yes, what work were they, were they doing here? They, they do job like us, fixed barge, uh, steel structure, and they, they work with us in Mandinari. Who was the managing director of that company? Sorry, I don't understand. Who was the managing director of TTS? The, the, the owner in the company, Donna Drabo. I write the name for you. Okay. Write the name of the company and the owner. Please collect the paper and the documents on the table. T 
TTS, Dona Drabo. What nationality is Dona Drabo? Senegalese. Dona D R A B O. Oh. Mm. All right. Where is this person now? He's in Dakar. And TTS is still TTS operating. TTS company is from Dakar. All right. Uh, Mr. Daniel, you said you started working with um, in the Gam Petroleum project in 2003. Yes. But your company was only incorporated in 2007. Yes. So when you started working, who was working yourself or some your your company? I I don't know how I tell you. I don't know. It's myself with my team, but uh, uh, with no company until 2007. Okay. Where is your contract? There is no contract. It's ver verbal contract. Verbal by, contract. By top. Between you and who? Between? Yes, but verbal contract between who and who? Between, uh, I told you, between uh, Mr. Bazzi that time and Mr. Fadi. Mr. Bazzi? And Mr. Fadi Mazegi. Mr. Fadi Mazegi. What about Mr. Tarek Musa? What was his role? Uh, after, we don't, I don't see him again. After a couple months when I start the project, I don't see him again. What was this verbal contract? What were the terms? To do the project for him. And what we, project? The depot. Sorry, what project? Can you explain? Because since it's a verbal contract, we would like you to give us the details of these verbal contracts. Yeah. Okay? Now, you said the parties were yourself, Mr. Bazi, and Mr. Mazegi. So tell us the terms of the contract and what this project was. The term? The terms, what you agreed with them, and what, you, what work did you agree to do, and what work did you do? Madam... Uh... We start talking to do the project for him. And like any, uh, any company, how they do the project. But after we start, they don't sign project with me. And they start push they don't? The, they Sorry. don't They don't sign contract. They don't sign contract. Yeah. And they, they start to uh, tell me, no, we pay you end of the month, we bring the staff and uh, something I don't know how to explain it. Uh, Try. And we do, they pay me, they bring people, I bring my team, we give them invoice what we need, they buy it, they send it. There is something like that. What is the project? Now you said the Gam Petroleum plant. The Gam depot. Gam, the petro depot. Gam Petroleum is a, the is, depot, a is a substantial plant. It's big. The depot. All the depot. All you, the pipeline. Everything in the okay. depot. You built the depot. Just give us, tell us what you did. The depot. The pipeline. Yes. What else? The mooring system. Yes. That the salt. This is the depot. Okay, let's let's put it this way. Is there any part of Gam Petroleum plant that you did not build? I, I don't understand the question. Okay. You know, I'm trying to get you to explain what work you did. Okay? Now what I want you to tell us is whether there is any part of Gam Petroleum that you, Mr. Daniels, or your company did not build. I don't know. 
Is there any path there that you did not build? I, I don't know, but you can ask any, anyone in Gambia. 2,000 people work with me there. Uh, maybe you don't understand my question. You know, it's, maybe it's difficult for you to list every work you did. I uh, want, to I, li list? Yes, I want to know whether there is any part there that you did not make, somebody else worked. No, there is people under, under me. They bring uh, people, I bring people, because project big like that, not only one part make it. But we are uh, the head of everything. You are the head of everything? Yes. Okay. Like we, we give them order what we need for next month, what we need the steel, what we need pipe. Was there any other company working with you there? Yes, yeah, there is many uh, uh, company under us, yes. Under you? Yeah, they, they bring him, but under me, yes. But the companies that came worked under you, is that what you're saying? Under my uh, uh, instruction. Say that again? Under my, uh, I don't Construction. know, uh, instruction. Because the engineer team is my team. The supervisor team is my team. Okay. Did, um, I'll just tell you some names. Who built the road? The road? Re leading to the plant, yes. The road from the village to the depot. Yes. Is a, a company from Senegal. Uh, I, I forgot the name, but famous company in Senegal is he, here now. Is it CSE? Uh, yes. CSE? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, do you know SGS? SGS, yes. What work did they do there? The SGS, they check the, the welding, they check everything we do in the steel structure. Okay. Daily. Daily? Daily. In this business, every day when uh, we finish, the SGS have to enter and make x-ray for all the, the, the welding we do a day. Okay. Um, you know Jeng, a company called Jeng? Call what? Jeng. Jeng. Jeng? Uh-huh. J-E-N-G. Jeng. No. Jeng? Yes. Or what, a man. What they, what they do? A person, I don't know. I'm asking you. Mm, I don't remember. No, I don't remember this company. What about a company or person B-E-E-M? Beam. Beam, beam, yes, beam, B, what did, what B, did they do? B, E, E, M, right? Yes. Uh, the, this is the, the supervisor for the whole project. Like, there is two kind B in the ground. People like me stay all the time with my team, and there is one came every three, four months, check what we do, and go. The beam, this is the beam. Hmm. Okay. Beam, is it a person or a company? Uh, no company. Hmm. But belong to a person, you know, that this is... N not international company. It's one guy make company with couple people with him, under him. This is company like that. It's not like SGS. Okay. Um, the civil works. The civil works. Who did the civil works? The civil work. Uh, uh, Mr. Bazdi, Mr. Fadi sent uh, somebody there sent two person, everyone have team. One belong to, to Tony Gattas, and one belong to somebody Turkish, I forgot the name. But 
He worked with us about one year and he left the country. And one team belonged to me. Okay. Because too many uh, civil war there. Okay. Do you know a company called Afri Star? Afri? Star. I think this one for Tony Gattas. Tony? I think Tony Gattas. Tony Gattas. Yeah. Okay. And he, what did he do? Sorry? What work did they do, Tony Gattas? The civil, civil work. Some civil work. The owner of the project that time, he wanted him to give him a job. Okay. Tony Gattas and somebody named Danny Khoury. Okay. Um, do you know a company called Gamsen? Gamsen Construction. Gamsel? Yes, Gamsen. G A M S E N. Gamsen Construction. This the company belong to Mr. Amadou? Amadou Samba? I believe so. I think yes, they have the crane, one of the crane. And they, and they buy the cement from, from him. You, you, uh, they buy the cement from them? Yeah, and one crane. What work did they do? The crane? No, what work did Gamsen do on the site? I said they, they, they buy the cement, and there is one crane. Okay. Crane. Yes. You, you know what, what crane? Yes. Crane, big crane, because the project, there is two cranes all the okay. time. One belong to him. Okay. Who did the backfilling? You know that area is swamp? The, the backfilling do it uh, some Lebanese guy here, his name Tony El Hajj. Tony? El Hajj. Tony Hajj. H A J J. Yeah, El Hajj. That he's not, not the young one. There is two Tony El Hajj, the old man. Zobex. Do you know a company called Zobex? Zobex? Yes. Z O R B E X. No, what they do? I don't know. Were they involved? Did they do any civil work? I, I, I don't know this company, no. You don't what about the Turkish man you mentioned? Is what is his name? The, the Turkish guy, I can bring the name for you. I don't remember, but we have it. All right, if you can bring it. The Shell Depot, did you have anything to do with the works at the Shell Depot in Banju? Yes, we make rehabilitation for the depot in Banju. Who did it? I did it. Landscaping, what, what landscaping did you do there? Landscaping. Landscape? Yes. Where, in, in Gun Petroleum? Yes. Uh, th there is one engineer, they bring him from Lebanon, but I forget if he have company or person. And we use uh, uh, our team to help him. To do what? To to make the gazon, the floor, because we make uh, outside the depot there is too many, uh, too many garbage, okay. and I uh, told them it's not nice like that. Let us make it mm. uh, gazon, and uh, they bring one engineer from Lebanon, mm. and the people is local from here. Okay. Now, you worked there for which period? From 2003 until when? Until the depot finish. Okay. And that time they give me contract, you, you, you have it, to running the place and to maintenance the place, 
to take care of the mooring so and, this, mm. and to do everything necessary for the depot. Okay. I'm going to show you exhibit MS221. And can you confirm whether this is the contract that you signed? It's dated 27 September 2008. Um, and it has two addendums. The first addendum is dated 17 May 2010, and second addendum is dated 30 May 2013. Yes. Are uh, these the contracts? Yes, madam. Between Capital Gas and um, yes. Gun Petroleum? Yes. Storage facility? Yes. Now, on, in the first one, which is 2008, you were paid $95,000 a month. Um, the first addendum changed this. The first addendum, dated in 2010, changed it to $49,800 per month. And the third one, dated in 2013, you paid $25,000 a month. Is that correct? Yes. Um, do you have a contract with Gun Petroleum for similar services after 2013? After this one 2013, finished? yes. Uh, after this one finished, uh, we continue to do the job about a couple months until they say uh, they don't want us again. We this continue three, four months, I think. And after that, they, 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 they say, stop, we don't need you uh, no more. Okay. All right, thank you. Now, the contract that you said was oral, the contract you said is verbal. Yeah. That you did, basically you supervised uh, at least most of the works of, at um, Gun Petroleum. How much were you paid for this contract? How much they pay for the contract? Yes. The <laughs> for all the work that you did from beginning to, to 2007 when the depot construction was completed. What we agree something and when the reality is different thing. Tell us what you agreed. And tell us the reality. We agree actually. to do the project like company. They do the same, like make contract one, two, three. When we start, nothing happened like that. They pay us salary. Me and my team, my team, many engineer. I can uh, give you the name after. Uh, yes, you, you, you will require that you provide a list. Yes, they paid you salary. Salary, salary, like working people, like anyone, small boy. Until we finish the project. What was your salary? Sorry? What was your salary? Ma personal yes. salary? Yes, yes, yes. There is no personal salary. They give us 20000 for all the team every month. $20,000. $20,000 every month? Not my personal, for all the team. We okay. are five, six engineers, sometimes seven, sometimes three. But all the time there is two here and me, full time. Okay. What did because, you... because they promised me uh, and to, to give me chair when, when the project finished. To give you chair? Yes, 10% Share. of share, share in the project. So what happened? They don't give it to me. How much was 10%? Did they tell you how much this was, this represented? No, this is not, not money. Share in the project. 
Yes. It's not, not, not money. Yeah, but it must have a value. Did they tell uh, you what the value of the project was going to be and how much this 10% was going to be? I, I don't know. They, they, they promised me many things. They don't, they don't make it. Yeah, but for you to accept 10% as compensation, you must have an idea of how much this 10% is worth. The, I don't know how much. I don't know exactly. I don't know. I can calculate it and tell you after. You can calculate? Yes. Okay, we will require that you calculate and tell us how much this 10% yes. was worth. That time, yes. Okay. We will require that you provide a list of everyone who was working on this project and what they were doing. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Um, in, t in terms of um, the other companies, not your team, that we are working on the company, in the company. I just want us to be clear for the record. Um, you said SGS was supervising yeah, daily. Not, not, not supervising. SGS company uh, check something like I told you, the welding. It's the welding. not supervising for all the projects. The welding. Welding. Because, yeah, the welding. Because the most important thing in this kind of business is the welding. Every day they have to take picture. They call it X-ray at night. To next day in the morning, tell us is good, continue, or stop, change this place. Okay. This is what LGS do. Okay. All right. Um, you said CSC build the road, the asphalt road from yes, the village. Yes, from Mandinari to the project, yes. Okay. BEEM, that's BEAM, they supervise Yes. On a periodic basis. Yes. What were they supervising? They, they, they do the first design and they supervise. Uh, let's say come every three, four months. They check everything we do and they say yes or no. Okay. This is uh, the supervisor do. Was anyone supervising the electrical works? The electrical, uh, th there is two parts of the electrical. There is part, one of my engineer do the design and my team put the cable in the ground and they bring company, that time uh, they have company do Brikama, they bring team from there, continue the job to put the, the big tableau they connected together to test it. Is okay. uh, fr from him, from him, from from Brikama. I don't know what they call it, but I know the people. He's still until now is here. Okay. So you you said um, Gamsen owned the crane which they rented to the. Yes. Okay. And they supplied the cement for the project. What I know. This is, I know, there is something between uh, him, I don't know. Sorry. What I do know, you know they buy cement from him. They buy and cement there is from crane them. all the time in Mandinari belong to him. Okay. And Afrista, you said we are doing civil works. Civil work. Civil work. Afrista, Tony Gattas. Tony Gattas do part. The Turkish guy do part. And and uh, me, I do part. Okay. Now, on the material side, how did it work? The materials for the contract, for the project? They buy the material. We order it, they buy it. Okay. We order from him, and they buy it. Okay. We, we would like you to provide the records of the materials that you ordered for the project. 
I don't understand. Do you have a record of the materials that you ordered for the project? I have a report now? Yeah, a record in your office. A re record? Papers, the orders that you made, the invoice, the pro forma invoices. I check. Okay. Now, Mr. Mr. Daniels, um, correct me, uh, um, I'd just like you to confirm. You did the steel works, t the tank installation and the pipes, pipe, the pipeline, is that yes. correct? Yes. You said you did part of the civil works. Yes. And some part was done by um, yes. uh, Afrista and um, the Turkish guy. Yes. You built the Shell Depot in, you renovated or the... The, the re rehabilitation, not build it. This is all depot, we make rehabilitation. Okay. What about the marine line in engineering? The, the buoys, the anchors, the chains? Who was responsible for that? I do it. The marine line installation, who was responsible? I do it, yes. The, the painting? For the pipe? It says painting for external and in, internal tanks and pipes. Uh, no, TTS, the, the Senegalese company, and, and we put with him team from my part, do the pen. But this, the, the, the big people is from TTS. For the painting? Yes. What about the sand blasting? It's the same. The sand blasting and painting is the same job. The people do sand blasting, have to do the paint after. The boiler system? The what? Boiler system boiler mm -hmm. the boiler we, we we buy it from a company in lebanon and we fix it in the place you you talk now in mandinari or banjur in both in mandinari we, we buy it uh, uh, because i give him address somebody i know him in lebanon they sell it from him and we put it in the place and we fix it in uh, banjur they buy it from Belgium. I don't know the company. Okay. Was there a project manager for this project? Uh, who, who is the project manager? Yes. It's George Shahoud. George? Shahoud. Who is he? Sorry? Who is George Jacob? He's, he's one of the my engineer is it one of your team members yes he was how was he paid so was he paid from this twenty thousand dollars also was he paid from the twenty thousand yes hmm. i'm um Mr. Mr. Daniels, I've asked you to provide some things and the materials and the invoices that you had. I'm going to ask you a question. What, what was the overall cost of this project? I, I don't know exactly. I don't know. You don't know? Why don't you know? You ordered, you ordered because, materials. You... Because I ordered ma material. I don't buy it. Yeah, but you, if you order, you know the prices. No, when I order, I don't know the price. I order something to you buy it. You can buy it high or less, I don't know. Exactly, I don't know. Yes, um, give us an estimate. Sorry? If you don't know exactly, that's fine. Because you, you, what you're saying is reasonable, that you order and somebody else buys. Um, but give us an estimate. I don't understand. What I'm is, sorry. I you don't say understand. you don't know exactly. 
I'm saying that's fine. Give us an estimate of the cost of the project. Uh, estimate that mean between that and that? Between, yes. let's say. Yes, yes. It's difficult for me to tell you now. Can I, I call George, discuss with him because it's long time, and I give you figure when I write to you that this document. Okay, I find you're going to provide something and give it to us, and we will look at it. But. It's been a long time, but this is the most significant project you have done in Gambia. Is that not so? Yeah, this is a big project. And it's uh, a big project. One doesn't for easily forget big projects that one does. So I'm sure you would have, in your head, said, okay, this is a project that must have cost so much. Uh, I told you I can contact George and uh, I give you a figure uh, very soon. All right, when? Sorry? Okay, we'll expect that you do that in the next few days. Yeah, yeah, Certainly next few days. by Friday. Yes, yes, yes. By Friday. All right. Um, Thank you. Now, there are just some materials you are supposed to provide under the contract, some equipment. Did you provide a badge under the contract that you had? A badge. An badge? Yes. No, they, they bring me a badge and I fix it. They bring it from the port. Okay. And I fix it to do the job. And when the job finish, they, they give it to me, uh, and I fix it again. Okay. So when they brought you this badge, what was it like? What was it? It's a ferry before. It's old ferry. They don't use it. They told me like that. And I bring it to the yard in Downton Bridge. I fix it. How did you fix it? How what? Fix it how? The steel structure, madam, when steel structure is not good, you change it. You take the old, you put in new. But that time I don't make it 100% in new because we are uh, rushing to finish the, the job. And after, they, they give it to me, uh, l let's say, close uh, invoice. You say, take this, and they don't pay me money, take this and this. They give me a couple things, like Sorry, welding say, machine. Say, say that again. Sorry? Sorry, after what happened? I, I didn't, don't understand. I say when they finish the project, and there is uh, some amount I needed from him, they don't pay me the amount. They say, take the barge, take a couple uh, uh, welding machine, and uh, something else, I don't remember. And they, they give it to me close to this invoice. Okay. How much did they owe you? Uh, uh, right now or that time? That, that, when they gave you the badge as compensation for how much they I owe have, you? I have paper. I can uh, something 80, 90, between 80 and 90,000. I, I don't remember yet. Okay. I can check the, the document. Okay. Please add it to the things you are going to provide to us. Now, in your contract of um, 27 September 2008, paragraph 1.2. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Daniel, do, do you need pen and paper to note all those things you need to provide. You have promised to bring us quite a number of things. Do you want to note them? We can supply you with a piece of paper. 
uh, uh, to, to write it. Yes? Yeah, yeah. So that you, you don't forget. You, you write, but I, I accept to, uh, to, you give me the, the question. After I finish, you give me what you need. No, 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 no. We don't do that outside. Uh, I have to write, but I don't know. That is to help you. Okay. I hope you understand. I, I understand, yes. Yeah, you so, just thank note. you. This is... Now in the, uh, the name of the, the Turkish guy. Well, we will, we will give you a list of what we had said you should provide. But from now on, take notes. Huh? Okay. All right, thank you. Um, I'm just referring you to your contract with Gam Petroleum, Ga Capital Gas and Gam Petroleum, dated 27 September 2008. 1 1.2, paragraph 1.2 says, uh, the contractor shall provide a tugboat and badge and suitable employees for its operations. Did you provide a tugboat? Tugboat. Tugboat. Yes. I have two. Okay. Okay. Well. You, you provided them to Gun Petroleum. Provided to Gun Petroleum. Yes. No, this contract. Is the, uh, inside this contract there is uh, the tugboat, the people, the barge, and everything. This first one. Yes. Okay. So you were to provide the tugboat. And after they took it, they they changed it. <laughs> and after they changed it. Yes. But my my question is, it says you are to provide the tugboat, the barge, and the people. Did you provide a tugboat and a barge? to Gun Petroleum. Inside this contract, there is this equipment inside this contract. Who provided it? The equipment. Who what? Did you bring a tugboat and a bike to Gun Petroleum? Uh, bring it, how bring it? Is Okay. It's my, my property, the tugboat. The what what tugboat. were you supposed to do with the tugboat and the badge? We do the, the, the job in the river. All the job in the river, we do it with this equipment. Who owned the tugboat? Who? Me. Capital Gas owned it. Okay. One of Capital Gas and one for my son. Did Gun Petroleum buy a tugboat? They have old one, yes, when we do the, the project, they buy one, but from that time he was uh, broken. He's in my yard. He's in your yard? Yeah, I show him to Mr. Seho sometime. I say, come see him, because he asked me, we have tugboat. I said, this tugboat is broken long time, and they don't fix it. When, uh, which, which badge did you provide? to the contract. Was it the badge that you maintenanced? Yes, the barge. The you first barge, we bring it, they fix it. You fix it and then you... They do their job and after I do the job, I uh, fix it for three years and, and almost finish last, last year. Is that the badge in this contract? In this contract? Yes. Yes. Anna, is there anything else? Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted? a copy of uh, 
the passport of the witness number zero uh, five zero two six three two AAE five zero two six three two Republica Argentina um, Certificate of Incorporation dated fourteen November two thousand and seven. No, this I write in, in my language. Tag, um, tin number of um, the company. Certificate of business registration dated 25th March 2014. A copy of a mem the memorandum and articles of association. And a statement made by the witness dated 4th July 
<laughs> witness statement by witness number 209 Antonio Pedro Daniel dated 4th July 2018 read contract between Capital Gas <laughs> at Capital Gas and Gam Petroleum Storage Facility at Mandinaring plus witnesses passport copy. Admitted Mark MS 233A. Memorandum and Articles of Association of Capital Gas Gambia Limited dated 12 November 2007 plus related incorporation documents admitted Mark MS 233B. I have no further questions for Mr. Daniels right. for today. I hope we have none. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Daniels. You may go. You may leave. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have to connect um, the next witness, Mr. Jaju. So we'll ask for a recess of 15 minutes. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Fifteen minutes. You are bringing your thing. Yes.